Hello and welcome to Cam Min 3, the series where we spend no more than 333 seconds to consider three important points for the IB chemistry exam. Today on Cam Min 3, oxidation state, ligands, and how do they bond to the central metal ion on a transition metal complex? And then we use this in deducing the charge on the central ion of a transition metal complex. The central metal ion of a transition element complex is positive because electrons are lost from the central metal ion. When electrons are lost, the ion itself is oxidized. And if it loses two electrons or three electrons, then we can see that the oxidation state or the oxidation number of that central metal ion equals the number of electrons lost. Similarly, for ligands, when they carry a negative charge or they have gained an electron, the ligand has an oxidation state of negative one corresponding to the number of electrons gained. Then the oxidation state becomes negative. And if electrons are lost, then you have a positive oxidation state. And here you can see that iron has an oxidation state of positive three and positive two. Oxidation is loss. Loss of three electrons means a plus three oxidation state. Loss of two electrons means a plus two oxidation state. Iron typically exists with these two oxidation states. Ligands bond to d orbitals by giving both electrons in the pair. Three examples of ligands, the cyanide ligand, the water ligand, and the ammonia ligand. The water and the ammonia ligand each have lone pairs to donate to the d orbital system and to form an association when this bond is formed with both electrons in the pair being donated by one species, then it's described as a coordinate covalent bond. Both water and ammonia have overall oxidation states of zero. We can say that they don't carry any charges on them. But cyanide ligand has an overall oxidation state of negative one. Its overall charge is negative one. Its overall oxidation state is negative one but it too has a lone pair to donate to the d orbital system to form a coordinate covalent bond to the transition element complex let's look first at this complex feh2o with six water ligands associated with this central atom with an overall charge of three positive this overall charge can also be referred to as the overall oxidation state of the transition element complex. Here we note that the overall oxidation state or charge on the water ligand is zero. So if the entire octahedral complex has this three plus charge, then it must be associated with this Fe. So we can deduce that the oxidation state of this iron central atom is positive three. Similarly, for the cyanide, here we notice that six cyanide ligands which carry negative charges or negative one oxidation states associate with the central atom and the overall charge is negative four. So six negatives, but the net charge being negative four, the net oxidation state of the complex being four negative, then we can say that the six negatives are counterbalanced by the positive two oxidation state or the positive two charge on this iron, leaving to a net charge on the complex of four negative. And this is what an octahedral complex would look like if iron three is bonded to six cyanide ligands. But what would be the charge on this particular complex? Here, because the central atom is Fe3 positive, then when six CNs are associated with it, the net charge becomes six negatives plus three positives. What about chromium three or chromium with an oxidation state of three and ammonia with its lone pair and its overall neutral charge or overall zero oxidation state? What would be the charge on this if an octahedral complex were formed or if six of these ligands associated with CR3+. And what would be the overall formula for the complex? Here you can see chromium with six ammonia ligands and the overall charge three positive. 
ammonia which is overall neutral giving its lone pair to form the coordinate covalent bond to the CR3 positive central ion and the overall charge on the complex 3 positive. Finally, I would like you to consider what an octahedral complex formed by these ligands would look like and what would be the overall charge.